All right, so here we go. Uh, motorized bike. I just bought this not too long ago. Um, it's got about, this is probably the third tank. It's almost empty. So I got about a gallon and a half of fuel that I put through here already at the 16 to 1 mix. And, you know, it's pretty yeah, It's pretty uh, oily. If you look down in there, you can see. Um, right now I got the carburetor off of there. The, the exhaust is off of it. Um, I went out earlier today. It's rolling pretty good. I guess where it picks up speed. Uh, the, the fastest that I've had it so far. <clears throat> Let me get up here and look on this little counter. Max speed, uh, 29, well, we could say 30 miles an hour if we round off. Okay, so 29.7. Um, what I'm doing is I'm going to take off that, take off the lower piston ring. Uh, I've read forums. I've seen people where they said they've done it. They get some blow by. They say a few other things happen here and there. Uh, I've heard it picks up, uh, it increases the RPMs to where it gives you more revs out on the engine. Uh, it should rev up faster because it's, there's uh, not that much friction holding back on the cylinder wall between the piston ring and it itself or whatever. And uh, the other thing too, uh, if you're new to messing around with these motors when you get them, um, I, I looked in here uh, first uh, and just checked the cylinder wall. And... Uh, see what kind of shape it's in i have a little bit of carbon building up there on the top of the piston uh, it's all pretty much wet i can pretty much wipe it off it's not really baked on or nothing so i don't think it's running too hot at all which that's a good thing anyway uh the cylinder wall all looks in good shape there's no areas where uh if you're familiar with these once they do start wearing you you, you lose that chrome uh plating that's on the inside of that cylinder wall and then it starts going right back into the cast you know the aluminum of the housing uh, for what it's made of so that thing's basically just a plated cylinder, you know plated wall plated cylinder wall so anyway everything in there is in good shape i got some kind of a cross hatch pattern they put on there i don't think it's with any kind of hone that i've ever seen anyway uh that might help these little motors out too but by the time you probably get in there and hone it you'll probably take a couple thousandths off and you'll be right to aluminum who knows how thick that chrome plating is i don't think it's that that, that thick i've had a couple of these to where I've seen them wear in. So anyway, the wall looks like it's in good shape. I'm going to roll this thing. I'm going to put a gallon of fuel through it, maybe two gallons, and then uh, for sure no more than that, and then pull it back apart and see what kind of damage there is or if there's any difference at all. And then uh, we'll get back to you and let you know if the speed's changed at all, if the you know if it's gone up performance-wise. I'll let you know what happens.